Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have a great start to the week. Miss Melissa, this is Miss Melissa here um, from Flynn Elementary. Uh, missing all of our students. And I'm excited to bring you a movement activity today. So being in our houses um, for so long um, doesn't mean we cannot exercise. We need to do our daily exercise to get our blood pumping a little bit. Um, and you can always go out for a walk, get some fresh air, um, or I'm gonna show you a, a few games that you can play in your house. So you just need a big enough space where you're able to move around so you don't bump anything, um, you don't hurt yourself, all right? Um, all these, uh, these two games that I'm gonna show you today, um, you can play them alone, or you can get other people in your household also working out, okay? So tell your brothers, your sisters, your moms, your grandmas, anybody can play these games with you. So we're going to start with our first game, which is gonna be called Deck of Fitness. So what you need for this game is a deck of cards, all right? If you don't have a deck of cards, you can make your own on pieces of paper, okay? So you can write the numbers one through 10, um, and put a little heart and then make another one through 10, put a diamond, all right? So you can tell the, we need to tell the difference between um, the different suits. So, um, so what you're gonna do in this game when it's your turn is pick up a card. And what that card means, you're gonna create, you get to choose. Um, I created two different versions, so, if I get a heart, I'm gonna be doing jumping jacks. If I get a spade, I'm gonna be doing squats. If you don't know what squats are, let me show you. Squats, you wanna basically squat down like you're gonna sit on a chair, but there's no chair, okay? And you can feel it right in your thighs, so squat. All right, then if I get a diamond, I'm gonna do sit-ups, so go up, you know, when you're laying back. Um, and then if I get a clubs, then you're gonna pretend you have a jump rope. If you have a real jump rope, you can use that. But um, you pretend you have a jump rope and you do that many jumps, all right? I also made another version for when you play again, you can do different exercises. So on this version, you can do push-ups, Strengthen those arms. You can do a burpee. If you don't know what a burpee is, this is a tough one, okay? So you drop down to a push-up, push yourself up, and then jump in the air. Let me show you. So you might not be able to see me the whole time, but I'm dropping down, do a push-up, then up, and trip to the sky. It really... Get your heart pumping, all right? And this one also, you got a diamond, you run in place for that many seconds. Oh, or you run in place. And then a plank is when you kind of hold yourself up. You lay down and then hold yourself up. So my, my, hey, you can see me here. My elbows are holding me, but my whole body is off the ground. And you really work out your core right in your stomach. <sighs> Whew, I'm already tired. So those are the different, you can use this sheet. You can use this one. You can play twice in a row and you do both. So when I pick my card, I got a clubs and the number is how many seconds or how many times you're going to do that. So for jump ropes, we're going to do it three times. So I go one, two, three. All right. And then I pick it and then it's the next person's turn. Or if you're playing alone, it is your turn again. So what I like to do is 
play in rounds of 10 cards. So that means I'm gonna go 10 times. So I picked one. Now I got eight of diamonds. So that's gonna be eight sit-ups. Wow, let me see if I can do eight sit-ups. <laughs> there I go. Lay back. One, two. You can go all the way up, or you can do crunches too, which you just go halfway. I like crunches. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All the way up. All right. Did some sit ups. Six of clubs. That is jump ropes again. So I'm going to do six jump ropes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh. I can feel my pulse going. King of spades. So all the face cards will be 10. All right. So if you get a jack, a queen, or a king, it's 10. So this means I'm going to do 10 squats. I'm going to work those thighs. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. You want to keep your feet shoulder width apart. Six, seven, eight. The lower you go, the more you're going to feel it. Nine and ten. Whew. All right. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to do all ten. But what I do at the end of every round, so after I've picked... 10 cards and gone through all of my exercises you're gonna add up because you know i love math miss melissa loves math you're gonna add up all your numbers and if you're playing if you're playing against somebody you're gonna see who got the higher number of exercises all right so if i add mine up i got 10 20 30 40 48, 51, 56, 65 plus one, 66. So if I did all those cards, I would have done 66 exercise movements, which will really get my heart pumping. All right. So, and I recommend you play a couple rounds. So every round you do 10 cards. Whew. Now, the other game that we're going to play today is called ABC Balloon Challenge. I have a balloon that I've had at my house, um, but you don't need, it doesn't have to be a balloon. You could try it with a ball, or even if you don't have any of that, find paper and make your own ball, all right? You just need something that can go in the air. So what you do is, the point of the game is just to keep up your balloon or your ball in the air, as many letters as you can. So every hit that you do, you count a letter. So the first hit is A, then B, then C, all right? And you're gonna see what is the farthest letter you can get to. You can also play with other people and you guys have to take turns hitting it, okay? And, but once it hits the ground, then that round, then that's over. And that's the letter that you end on, all right? So you can play this with one, two, three, lots of people even, okay? So I'm gonna try to do it. Make sure you could see me on here. All right. There I go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. I'm moving it, so I'm moving around. Q, R, S, T, U. And then if it hits the ground, oh, I ended on U. So balloon is kind of easy, actually. <laughs> but if you use a paper, it's much harder. 
So you can give yourself a challenge. You know, a, B, C, D, E. Oh, I only got to E that time. So that gets you really running around your room trying to catch the ball. Boom. I got to E again. So I can challenge myself. Can I make it past the E this time? And keep playing until you make it all the way to Z. Um, so I hope you guys play these activities at home, play them with your family, and make sure that you are still getting some daily exercise, even though we're still stuck at home, all right? So thanks for watching and playing with me, and I will see you guys soon.